Hi there, in this video I'll show you how to add an Aweber sign-up form into your Weebly website. So we're going to cover getting the Aweber sign-up code from your Aweber account, adding it to your Weebly website, and then making sure it all works. So let's get straight into it. So you can see here we are on my Weebly website. I have my new page that I'd like to set up. Obviously this is just for illustration purposes, but <clears throat> this could be on your blog, this could be on any web page, this could be on a lead capture page. It's really up to you. It's all the same here where we're going to use the drag and drop editor and we can write text, pictures, whatever we want. So the first step, of course, is to come across to Aweber. So I'm in one of my lists here for a free ebook that I give away uh, using some free traffic. And so this is this is exactly what I'm showing you right now. This is an a uh, this is a Aweber sign up form in a Weebly website, and it's just been running over a lot of free traffic. It's had some some decent, uh, even though it's a small conversion rate, it has had some decent opt ins building my email list. So that's great. So I'm just going to show you the first step. Of course, is we're going to create the new sign up form. Now, I'm just going to leave it as this. You can choose and design whatever it is that you like. I would recommend that you that you delete the header uh, and that you delete the footer, and I delete the Powered by a Aweber uh, because what you can do in Weebly, of course, is add text below and above it without having to use that, and this gives you better spacing when it actually adds to your Weebly website. So I'm going to click on Save for, uh, go to Step 2. And then I'm going to save the form as a name. So this is a Weebly form, for instance. And then the, the thank you page. So if you have a specific thank you page with your Weebly website, of course, you could add it there. But I'm going to just leave it as the basic thank you page. We're going to save the form and go to step three. Now. In order to put it on our Weebly website, we need to click on I will install my form. And you can choose the either the HTML code or the JavaScript. The JavaScript is fine. Right click on that, copy it, and then come back over to your Weebly website. So now in order to add it, we come to embed code, which is here, drag it across, drag it into the screen. Once that's added, oh, you can see it's just gone above my line. I'm just going to drag it to the bottom. Now, once that's added, click on it, edit custom HTML, right click and paste. Click off. Okay, and now you can see it is displaying perfectly on the website. So, of course, we need to publish the website now in order to have it seen. And once published, providing you remember the page name, you can head across to Google and actually see how it's displaying. And there you have it. So that's displaying perfectly. Uh, and of course, if we enter our name and our email, this will be added to the appropriate list for that particular sign up form in Aweber, which of course was my free ebook and whatever it is that you are planning on building your newsletter with. So, look, that's about it. Of course, you can come back. And you can always edit this, change it, add text, pictures, all the rest of that. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you would like some more Aweber and Weebly tutorials, you can use the link beneath this video. You'll find some more free videos there to help you uh, with some of the tips and tricks to really start building that newsletter. Okay, thanks for watching. Again, my name is Luke Millard, and I hope to see you in coming videos.